This video is a little different. Uh, this is going to cover some books that I recommend that you read to make you a better you, a better engineer, a system modeler, and architect. So the first book is one I recommend that every undergraduate engineer in America read as part of their education, and I highly recommend it to everybody I know. It's uh, The Designer Design by Fred Brooks. Uh, he wrote The Mythical Man Month, another classic. I actually, I've read both, and I think this one's better. And it's a, it's a collection of very readable short essays with a lot of great content, um, anecdotes, and, and it really crystallizes a lot of things about architecture and design. Well worth your time. This is The Design of Everyday Things by Don Norman. It's also a classic and, again, helps frame problems and helps you change how you see the world. Uh, again, very recommended, um, very inexpensive, and readily available. This is Sandro Mancuso's The Software Craftsman. And it's all about how to grow and value yourself and how to develop your career and your skills. Highly recommended. Again, inexpensive, but it, it really will change your thinking about yourself and your path forward and how you learn. Five Star Leadership is my favorite leadership book ever. It's a great single volume on leadership. Uh, out of print, but I believe it's back in print now through Print on Demand. It's older, but it distills a lot of really great leadership lessons and is really worth your time. Now we're going to move into uh, three biographies about three individuals who I uh, consider highly important to the, uh, to the practice of engineering and architecture and the transformation to model-based systems engineering. Three unconventional thinkers. Uh, the first one's Admiral Hyman Rickover, and this book is written by an admiral who served under him uh, against the tide, highly uh, applicable to our current model-based transformation. I will say that Rickover is not for everyone, uh, but uh, definitely a lot of a lot of great uh, leadership principles in here and a lot of behaviors that uh, all of us would do well to emulate. This book's also out of print. This is The Bouncing Bomb Man, The Science of Sir Barnes Wallace, a fascinating British engineer with an enormously varied interests in aerodynamics and structures. And again, this explores the science behind his innovations. And it's uh, a fascinating read and well worth your time. Our third biography is about uh, Admiral Sir Jackie Fisher, uh, the individual who transformed the British Navy uh, from steam uh, or from uh, you know, wood to steam. Uh, fascinating individual. Uh, I haven't read this one yet, but it's in my queue, and I'm looking forward to it. So uh, three individuals who uh, we would all do well to study as we try to transform our discipline. Another biography is about John Boyd, who is the father of the OODA loop, uh, The Mind of War. Again, a really great read on, on how to think and approach problems. Well worth your time. This is the first of a pair of books I'd recommend to people. This is about Kelly Johnson from Lockheed, um, you know, and his trials and tribulations at the Skunk Works and how they designed and, and tackled various problems. And it pairs really well with the next book, which is the XB-70, which was a beautiful, flawed aircraft. I've seen it at the uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Museum. Uh, really great, but inherently flawed architecture and approach in a lot of ways. And so when you compare and contrast Kelly Johnson's approach at Lockheed uh, with the failed approach at North American uh, with the XB-70, uh, it's, it's really interesting. So these make a great pairing uh, for a back-to-back -back read. Highly recommended. Thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, you come back and uh, see our next video. Have a great day.